come travel with us today to the end of the world to visit with Miss Nora. The end of the world is what we affectionately call Elliot's Island, a quiet village separated by 15 miles of Snake and Marshland Road west of Vienna in Dorchester County. And who is Miss Nora? Why, she's Natty Nora Foxwell, the famed proprietor of Miss Nora's store, once the social center of this icon of isolation. 58 year, first, uh, it was 58 when we opened it up, first day of December. Well, how's business these days? It's slow now, but it has been good. It used to be the store used to be full. They played games, cards, cow, and checkers and all like that. We don't have many people now. I wouldn't say over 70. And it used to be uh, uh, over 500 people here. Older people died and the younger people's left. Ten years shy of the century mark, Miss Nora isn't remotely concerned about the ever-growing customer decline. No, I can crochet and turn the TV on, and I love to read poems. But if everybody comes along, let's say, say, let's go to town, I, I lock the door and leave. I'll be back sometime, I'll say. Now, to put things in perspective, when Miss Nora was born on her beloved island in 1902, the Wright brothers hadn't even lifted off, and Mark Twain was just a funny feller. Ninety years later, she is not only still going strong, but possessed with a sharp mind and the spirit of youth. Feel just like I did when I was 16 if I just had my hip. <laughs> feel that good, huh? Yeah, I feel good. I've had good health all my life till I dropped my ankle over and broke my hip. These days, people like Miss Nora are as rare as Triple Crown winners. You might find it worth a ride to Elliott's Island to sip a cold drink at her store and even chat a bit with a Delmar of a treasure. Don't know how much longer I'm going to stay with them. Are you planning on retiring? Not yet a while. <laughs> what are you going to do? Wait till you get old? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Wait till I get old. <laughs>